when you start making a flip chart from scratch, you're going to notice that your, your slate is clean, it is blank, and that you're going to probably need to put on some backgrounds to make this more exciting. So to get to the backgrounds, I notice that I have a browser that pops in and out. And by the way, if you want to make that stay out so it doesn't bounce in and out, there's a little bitty thumbtack up here that you can click and it will make it stay. Now in this browser, there's all kinds of options for me to choose. But my second choice is the resource browser, and it looks like a little pair of music notes. When I click on my music notes, my resources open up, and I can see that I have a folder in here called shared resources. So if I click on that folder, I have all sorts of things in here. Now, what these actually are, these folders are resource packs. And if you've been to the Promethean Planet, you've probably noticed that you can download a resource pack. Well, this is where it goes once you download that, and we'll get into downloading them here in a minute. But for right now, I see in here there is a folder already called Backgrounds. Now, if I click on the Backgrounds, I have Illustration Backgrounds, and there are all kinds of fun pictures that I could choose. Um, let's say I want mountains in my, in my flip chart. Well, I can either double-click on the mountains, or I can left-click and drag it out. And let it go. So now my background becomes the mountains and I could make things on top of that like some fish. I could put some vocabulary words. But the point is that the background is here. Now let's say this is page one but I want a different background on page two. Well if I come over to my toolbar and I use my right arrow it's going to advance me to the next page which is blank. If I go back to the left my first page is still there with the mountains. So let's go to the blank page. Now let's say on this page, I'm going to have students coming up to write, so there are paper backgrounds. And let's see, I want it to match their notebooks, and maybe this is a really young grade. So maybe I'm gonna have my kindergarten or first graders coming out here to write letters. So on this page, I chose a background. The students can write on top of it. It's locked in place. It's not gonna go anywhere. Let's go to the right-hand side. Let's go to another page. Perhaps we have some type of a texture we want to come up there. All of these backgrounds live inside this resource folder. So see, I can have bricks as my background. Now if I left arrow and left arrow again, I can look through all of my show. Page one is the mountains. Page two we can write on. Page three I can write on top of the bricks, but the bricks are not going to go anywhere. So backgrounds are the layer that you want to start with first because they're way in the back. Then we can start building activities on top of these backgrounds. Now I talked about how they, that these are actually resource pack folders. Well, let me show you what that means. If you go to the Promethean Planet, because by the way, if you look through yours, you might not have as many folders as I do. So let's go get you a couple more. If we go to www.prometheanplanet.com and we sign up for an account, we can actually download lots of free stuff from here. We can download lesson plans and we can um, download resource packs, which are the folders of clip art and backgrounds. So as you see, I'm signed in up here. Your first time, you will have to create a username and a password. Now in this blank line, I'm just gonna type what I'm looking for. Let's say um, I'm a third grade teacher and I'm looking for um, solar system lesson plans. So I'm just gonna type in solar system and see what comes up. Now when I type in solar system, I get a whole bunch of, it looks like a bunch of flip charts are coming up, and it looks like my browser is still thinking here. Now some cost money, especially ones that are from big publishers like National Geographic, but many of them are free. So as I scroll down here, I see several that look interesting. Now I notice one down here is different. It says planets and that it's a resource pack. Do you see how there's a yellow folder there? That means if I download this, it's going to go into my music notes or my resources inside Active Inspire. So this is a folder full of lots of cool stuff about the planets. These are just lesson plans. So I'm just going to click on this one right here and preview it to see if it looks good enough to download. Some of these lessons are definitely better than others, so you have to look through them. Okay, so my lesson is opening up, and I notice that I have a left arrow and a right arrow. So I can kind of scroll through here and say, all right, this looks like a pretty cool lesson, so I want the lesson. If I want the lesson, on the right-hand side it says download. I'm going to click download, and here's what it's going to ask. 
Okay, as it's downloading, it usually asks us, do we want to open it up or do we want to save it? And of course, we're going to want to save it so we can try it out and, and see if we like this um, to use with our students. Okay, so here we go, open or save. Well, let's save it. For right now, I'm going to save it on my desktop. Click save. And it usually doesn't take too long. All right, I can close. Now, I want to go back here for a second. And I also want to download that resource folder that we just saw. Oh, let me type it into here again. Oh, right there. Here's that resource pack. Let's, um, instead of previewing it, I'm just going to download it to show you. So resource pack, let's save it also on our desktop so we can see it sitting there. Save. All right, depending how big, sometimes these have audio or video clips in them, so they can be really big. Okay, let's close her up. Now, if I go out here to my desktop, I should see, oh, I have the resource pack. That was our clip art for the solar system. All I have to do, it's easy, double click it. And it'll say, where do you wanna put it? We'll just put it in that shared resource folder that you had it, the other ones in. So shared resources, they're going to import into there. Okay, now that I double clicked on my outer space lesson plan, I see that the lesson plan has actually popped into Active Inspire really easy. As I shuffle through the pages, it shows lots of questions and answers about outer space. Now, I also notice that if I go back to my blank one of my lesson plan, I'm gonna start with a blank page. Over here in my resource browser, I had my music notes. I'm looking down, I do see that now that I double click the resource pack, my planet and solar system resource pack came in here. If I click the plus sign, it expands everything that was in there. There's so much cool stuff in here. So first of all, I have outer space backgrounds. I'm gonna scroll, scroll through and ooh, this one is a cool one. Let's pull it out. Okay, so I have some really cool backgrounds. Now it looks like I actually have some planets on here. So this is Earth. I could pull out um, an Earth. Let's go to Jupiter. I could pull out Jupiter. Mars, all kinds of different things about Mars. Ooh, the rocky, some of the rocky surface on Mars. All of these different planets, and it looks like, yep, there's a folder for each planet. So, it's pretty much how it works. Going to Promethean Planet, you can either download the resource pack or the lesson plan. If it's a resource pack, don't forget to go to your browser, click on the music notes, find your folder, and then all of this clip art is in here for you to drag out into your lesson plan.